Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I've just got a really quick recipe video for you and it's because I have cracked the code on how to make this Bashan's Japanese barbecue sauce at home on your own. So I know you're probably thinking, Derek, why do I wanna know how to make sauce at home if I can just buy it in the stores? Well, there's a few reasons. One, because it might not always be available to you because right now I cannot find this sauce. I actually had to steal this one off of my mom who had some left, but they were selling this at Costco for a long time and it's been out for months. And the other stores around my area do not have it. I live in Canada. If you live in the States, it might be different. But another reason why is because you get to learn how to make sauces like this. So you could like tweak them to make them taste a little different, to make them healthier, which is also something I'm gonna show you in this video at the very end. So I'm gonna show you how to make it so it tastes just like this and then another healthier version. And I'll also give you a few examples on different foods that you could have it with. So what I like to do when I'm trying to deconstruct a recipe like this is I just look at the ingredients because we know that they list the ingredients in descending order from the heaviest item at the top to the lightest at the bottom. So I just get all those ingredients together and just start messing around with the recipe. And as usual, the recipes will be written in the description box down below to make it nice and easy for you guys. We are gonna be blending the sauce, so add everything into a blender cup. And we're gonna start with a half a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of water, and a half a cup of cane sugar. So you guys know I don't usually use sugar in my recipes, but this is what is on the label, so this is what we're making today. Two tablespoons of mirin. So if you're not familiar with mirin, it's a Japanese cooking wine made of rice. And it's actually very similar to sake, but way sweeter and not nearly as much alcohol content, but it's actually really good. Kind of expensive as well. I was shocked when I saw the price of this at the store, but it's part of the ingredients, so it's going in here. Two teaspoons of tomato paste, two teaspoons of chopped green onion, one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, a half a teaspoon of grated garlic, and a half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Blend all that up. So now that you have it all blended up, it is not quite done. Of course, you could enjoy it like this if you want, but when I was testing the recipe, I tried it like this, and I was like, it it's too sharp. It's like not exactly right. And then it dawned on me, I need to cook it. So pop it into a saucepan like this, put it on the stove, bring it up to a boil, and then down to a simmer for about five minutes. So once it cooks and cools a little bit, it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm just gonna put it in this little mason jar. Hey guy. Yo, I'm just filming a video. Have you had it? Oh man, you'd lose your shit. So I'm gonna do a quick taste test here. So I've got the original. Wow, yeah, so that's a strong sauce. Really salty, really sweet, and just a little bit of tang from the mirin and the rice vinegar, and then just like the right amount of ginger and garlic. So let's try mine. Yeah, that is pretty dang close. I almost wanna say it's a little bit more flavorful than this, like just a little bit more ginger and a bit more garlic, but other than that, it's pretty spot on. So there's obviously a ton of different things you could have this sauce with, but a few of my favorite ways to have it are with some sauteed tofu. So here I've just got some cubed tofu, some leeks, and then just adding that sauce on top, sauteing it in that, it is just perfect like this. It's also great on greens. So here I just have some spinach that I'm wilting down and then a little drizzle of this sauce. You could even have it on some rice instead of just plain soy sauce. And it's also great on some steamed vegetables like this broccoli here. So now that we've made a replica of the original one here, let's make one that is healthier without so much refined sugar in it. So just like with the last one, this one's gonna be blended as well. So into a blender cup, add three quarters of a cup of water, a half a cup of soy sauce, and then instead of the sugar, we're gonna add six medjool dates. And then for this sauce, I decided to skip right over the mirin since it's pretty expensive and a little hard to find. So I decided just to go with two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two teaspoons of chopped green onion, two teaspoons of tomato paste, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon of grated garlic, and one teaspoon of grated ginger. And then blend it up. And then just like with the last one, we're gonna cook this one as well. So bring it up to a boil and then turn it down for a simmer for about five minutes. Make sure you stir it quite a bit so it doesn't burn to the bottom. All right, so this one's all done and you will notice it is a bit thicker than the other sauce, well, quite a bit thicker than the other sauce. And this is because of the dates, they have fiber in them and it tends to thicken things up. Yeah, this is so good. So definitely the same vibe as the other one, but not quite as sweet. However, it's still really sweet 
really nice and salty, good balance of flavors, and then yeah, a bit of ginger, a bit of garlic, and then a tangy kick. It is so good. Mm. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the sauces, and if you do, definitely hit the like button. If you have any suggestions on things that you want to see me deconstruct and make at home, and maybe make a little bit healthier, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always looking for suggestions. So thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you soon with another video. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.